Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. This video is designed to be used in conjunction with a worksheet that you'll find in the description below, so please click the link and download the worksheet and have a look at that if you haven't already done so. We're going to make a start by answering the question on this worksheet, which reads, a classroom measuring 7.5 metres by 6 metres needs illuminating to an acceptable level for evening class use. The fitting to be used is a 230 volt fluorescent fitting using two number 1200 millimeter tubes rated at 36 watts per tube. These tubes have an efficacy of 75 lumens per watt. The room has a maintenance factor of 0.75 and a utilization factor of 0.7. How many luminaires will be required and how much current will they draw? So an awful lot of information there, an awful lot of numbers. So how are we going to go about solving this question? Well, to answer this question, we need to use our luminous flux method. So we start from the position where we write that down. So we've got F is equal to E times by A divided by U times by M. So if you haven't already watched the video that explains how the luminous flux method works and what each part of this means, then please go back and watch that video before continuing with this question. And what we're gonna do now is just have a run through how we answer this specific question in this case. Okay, so let's have a little rundown of the question here and see what we actually already know about this formula. So what do we already know? Well, we already know uh, what the uh, value for E will be. So the value for E in this question is going to be the value of illuminance that's required to light a classroom up to a suitable level for evening class use. And the guideline for that is generally recommended to be 500 lux. So that is the level of illuminance that we're aiming for in this question. We then need to know what the area of this room is going to be. So we need to figure out what A is going to be. And we can do that by simply multiplying the length of the room by its width. So therefore the area will be equal to seven and a half times six. So that's 7.5 times by six. And again, if the pressure wasn't on, if I wasn't in a video, I'd probably be able to figure this out pretty quick. So that's going to be uh, 45. Yep, so that comes to 45 meters squared. So now we know what our area is. And the question just simply states what the utilization factor and the maintenance factor is going to be. So the utilization factor, according to the question, is equal to uh, 0.7 and the maintenance factor, and remember we don't have any units for the utilization factor or the maintenance factor, is going to be 0.75. So that's what we're looking at there, 0.7 for the utilization and 0.75 for the maintenance factor. So that's nice and easy. We've got all the numbers that we need lined up straight away to figure out how much luminous flux we need to illuminate this room to the correct level. So now let's just carry on with our calculation. So we've got values here of 500 for the uh, illuminance level times by 45 for the area divided by 0.7 for the utilization factor times by 0.75 for the maintenance factor. So we'll stick that into the calculator. And of course, if you're using the Casio FX85 GT Plus like I am, that's really nice and easy to do because you just use the fraction button. 500 times by 4 point, uh, sorry, 45 divided by 0 0.7 times by 0 0.75. And when we perform that calculation, we find that we need a value of uh, 42,857. I'm not gonna worry too much about the decimal points at this stage because that's actually quite a small uh, kind of proportion of the overall number here. So we're not gonna gain an awful lot by going beyond that. So I'm gonna round that off to no decimal places. So that brings us to that value, 42,857 lumens. So that's the amount of luminous flux that we need to illuminate this room to the required level. Now what we need to know is we need to figure out how much luminous flux each light fitting gives out as a total. Now that might seem a little bit confusing from the numbers that we've got so far, but let's just see if we can figure out what that's going to be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that the total luminous flux of one light fitting, so the fl uh, luminous flux from one light fitting is going to be equal to two tubes, because there's two tubes per fitting, multiplied by the lumens per watt, so multiplied by 75, 
So we've got 75 lumens per watt, and then we times that by the number of watts that the light fitting uses. So each tube uses 36. So you can see there, this bit of the equation, 75 times 36, that tells us how much luminous flux each tube emits. And then multiplying that by two will give us how much luminous flux the fitting as a whole gives out. Now, obviously there's, there's kind of other factors that would come into play here, the type of light fitting and all sorts of things that would, would come into play. But we're trying to, to answer a question here that will hopefully help us out with an exam rather than a real life question where we just get the total luminous flux output for uh, the light fitting as a whole. So we've got two times 75 times 36, and that's gonna give us the total luminous flux that each one of these light fittings gives out. So we'll maybe call that uh, F out, yeah? So we can see there, that's the amount we need. So let's do two times 75 times by 36. And two times 75 times 36 tells us that each one of those fittings gives an output of 5,400 lumens. So from here, hopefully it's a fairly obvious step what we need to do. In order to figure out the amount of light fittings, we know how much luminous flux we need in total, and we know how much luminous flux each light fitting gives off. So therefore, if we take the total required and divide it by the number of lumens per fitting, that should tell us how many fittings we require. So let's do that calculation now. So the number of fittings, will be equal to 42,857 divided by 5,400. So let's do that calculation, 42,857 divided by 5,400 is equal to, now this is an interesting answer, we've got 7.93. Now bear in mind here, we're trying to uh, think about how many light fittings we need. So if we tried to ring up the wholesaler and ask them to send us 7.93 light fittings, they'd be curious to know how they're supposed to send you 0.93 of a light fitting, 90% of a light fitting. So what we'll do here is we will always round this number up to the nearest whole number. So that means we will have eight fittings. So there we go, we've answered one critical part of the question now. We know that for this room, we are going to need eight light fittings. Now the next part of this question asks us to figure out uh, how much current those fittings are going to draw. So in other words, we need to find the design current for this circuit. Now this is an interesting one because you may instantly think, well, I can figure this out fairly easily. The first thing we need to know is how much power in total is this uh, circuit, this lighting circuit in this room going to draw. So that's quite easy. We know that there are eight fittings multiplied by uh, 36 watts per tube, multiplied by two tubes. So that's gonna give us the total power rating of this room. So we do two times uh, 36 times eight. So eight times 36 times two gives us 576 watts. So that room is going to draw 576 watts of power. It's gonna dissipate that amount of power in the room. So at this point, you might think, well, this is nice and easy to find the design current, which from your electrical installation, you'll know IB is equal to the uh, power divided by the voltage. And in this case, we'll be using the voltage stated in the question, which is 230 volts. But what we've actually got to do for this, because this is a lighting circuit, and because we are using fluorescent lighting, fluorescent lighting is a type of discharge lighting, and that means that we've got to apply the rules that we find in the on-site guide published by the IET uh, for the UK. Now, in Appendix A, which concerns itself with finding maximum demand and diversity, Table A1 gives us some guidance on the lighting circuit and the current demand thereof. Uh, now, we know the exact power that the circuit's going to be drawing. However, there's a note here on lighting outlets that says, final circuits for discharge lighting must be arranged so as to be capable of carrying the total steady current, viz. that of the lamps and any associated control gear and also their harmonic currents. Now, the next bit's really important. Where more exact information is not available, the demand in volt amperes is to be taken as the rated lamp watts, which is what we found here, and that is to be multiplied by not less than 1.8. So in other words, because we don't know what the power factor of this fluorescent light fitting is, 
because we don't have that specific information given to us in the question, we have to take this assumption of 1.8 as a multiplier. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to take that value and we're going to complete this calculation. So we're going to say that this will be equal to 576. So there's your lamp power rating. And we're going to times that by 1.8 for this discharge circuit. Again, in real life, you would be able to get the more specific information on this, which means that you might not have to apply this 1.8 rating factor. But again, we're hopefully getting ready for an exam question and the exam will expect us to use that 1.8. If you're unsure about this, then please speak to your electrical lecturer about it before you go into your exam to know whether you are expected or not to apply this value if this kind of question should happen to come up. But I would expect my learners to use this value of 1.8. And then we're going to divide that by the nominal voltage of 230 volts. So we've got here uh, 576 times by 1.8, and then we're going to divide that by 230. And that's going to give us an answer of uh, 4.5, we'll round that off to two decimal places, 4.51 amperes. So this circuit is going to draw 4.5 amps, from eight fittings. So that's the values that we're looking for. So we've answered the first part of the question. We found the number of light fittings needed. And we've answered the second part of the question because we now know how much current that circuit needs to be designed to withstand. So all that remains in this video is to say, thank you very much for watching.